guys, Mr. Backberg here. In this video, we're going to focus on setting up and solving proportions. Now, before we get too far into things, we're going to have to do a little bit of vocab stuff. And I guess the first word I want to talk about is a ratio. And what a ratio is, is it's a comparison of two different values or quantities. And there's a few different ways that we can write ratios. Let's just say we've got a couple of quantities, let's call them A and B. Then one way that we can write a ratio is by writing it as a fraction. So we could go A over B. Another way that we could write out a ratio is using a colon between those values. So we could say A colon B. Or the last way to write out a ratio is just using the word 2. So if we're comparing these things, we could say A to B. So let's look at an example where maybe we're dealing with students in a class. And let's say we've got 12 boys in class and 9 girls. If we wanted to compare the number of boys to the number of girls, then what we could do is we could just set up a fraction or any of these other kinds of ratios. So we could go 12 over 9, comparing the boys to the girls. Or we could say 12 to 9 with the colon between it. Or we could just say 12 to 9. Now no matter which way we set this up, one thing we always want to do is reduce these down. And it's easiest to see that when we're dealing with the fraction because we always talk about reducing fractions. So each one of these numbers is divisible by 3. So if we reduce this fraction down, it would be 4 over 3. And then we'd want to do the same thing with these other ones too. This would reduce down to 4 colon 3. And this would reduce down to 4, 2, 3. Now if we take that the next step further, then we're going to start dealing with proportions. And what a proportion is, is it's an equation that says two ratios are equal to each other. And the way we write that out is we'd go like A over B equals C over D. So we've got two fractions, two ratios that are equal to each other. So this would be something like 4 over 8 is equal to 1 over 2. Those fractions have the same value, it's just the second one is the reduced down version. But these things are equal to each other. 4 divided by 8 would be 0.5, 1 divided by 2 would be 0.5, so those things are the same. Now we're not always going to have all of the information that we need in a proportion. Like in this one, we've got a missing value, we've got an x in there. So we've got 5 over 6 is equal to x over 30. When we're looking at solving a proportion, what we're going to do is we're going to cross multiply. So what that means is with these two fractions, we're going to look at grouping up opposite pieces. So we're going to group up this 6 and this x, and we're going to multiply those things together. So 6 times x would be 6x. And then we're going to group up the other diagonal pieces, the 5 and the 30. Well, if we take 5 times 30, we get 150. Now there was an equal sign between these fractions, so we want to keep the equal sign between our two values. Now we're solving for x, we're trying to get x all by itself. Right now we've got 6 times x, so in order to get rid of that times, we're going to divide each side by 6. These 6's are going to cancel out, and we're just going to get x equals, on the right hand side, if we take 150 divided by 6, we're going to get 25 as our answer. So that missing x value from our proportion up here is 25. We've got a new proportion up here, but we're going to still look at solving. So we're going to do our cross multiplying. So I'm going to take 2 times m and get 2m. This is going to equal, now we've got to do 9 times 12. 9 times 12 is 108. Now, in order to get m all by itself, we're going to divide each side by this 2. 108 divided by 2 should give us a value of 54 for that m value. That's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching.